Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for April 2020 and welcome to my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for your um, faithful support, I do appreciate it without you this channel wouldn't be with what it is, especially in the live sessions and of course happy welcome to my new viewers Please subscribe and hit the bell. And this goes for um, uh, this warning that I'm going to tell you now is also for my faithful cyber angels because we are in the new system of YouTube. And this counts, this also counts for all other channels that you follow or are, are, are subscribed to. The new system uh, is that when you subscribe and you click the bell, you get three options private or none or uh, all. So hit that button all and then you'll be notified. Perhaps that is why you have not been notified or getting notifications because this new system was uh, up and coming. So let's hope that this system is better than the old. Um, please, um, th uh, oh, so, sorry, not please, <laughs> I'll get into the routine of the rig rigmarole, but you're welcome and uh, if you need more information, have a look in the description box be beneath this video and hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you need to more information, what kind of readings there are, then click on this little icon here in the corner, the white circle with the eye, and it will take you to my website, and there you can find all kinds of information and updates. Your first card, Sagittarius, is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. If you think, oh, I wish I had a man with dark hair, brown eyes or green, then it could be a, a man with blonde hair or ginger hair with green or blue eyes. So if you are hooked up, then still maintain that openness and that freshness in your relationships, okay? Don't expect anybody to act the way you want them to act or how you think they should act. So keep an open mind, that's the message here. To clarify the card, you've got the birds and you have the seven of diamonds. So the seven of diamonds is the seven of pentacles. What you have sown, you shall reap. Perhaps you've sown something and now perhaps the time is coming to fruition. Uh, okay, um, <coughs> it needs time to grow. Okay, so before it, you can pluck the fruit or, or the harvest rather and the birds also mean there might be meetings but I know it's difficult to have physical meetings at, the, uh, at this moment so you might be doing meetings through Skype or chats through Skype or networking through internet so uh, that is one way of looking at it perhaps somebody might have left the nest or the group of people. Uh, that is what this card also means. Be careful of gossip mongers, okay, because birds do talk to each other and they sit in groups. So when <laughs> groups come together, it's like Chinese whispers. So watch out for gossip. In the second week, you've got playfulness. To uh, re uh, recapture romance, allow your inner youth or your inner child come out and shine and have fun. Don't be too businesslike. You might meet a new man if you're not hooked up, um, but also the man stands for steadfastness, businesslike, being the head of the family. So don't be too masculine if you are a female, and if you're a man, be a little bit more nurturing. After all, you have also your uh, female side, your feminine side. You are, you can be creative and you've got 28 and that's a 10. So there is an end to an issue or a situation or a phase and you're going into a new phase. After all, you've got the hearts, the ace of hearts. This could be a new love coming in, a man 
if you are a woman or a man it doesn't matter if you're a man you could meet a, a woman that is uh, career minded and if you're a woman obviously you can meet a man it could be a water sign it could be a cancer scorpio or a pisces they are loving nurturing people generally and they do stand for love passion and nurturing sensuality and sexuality okay and in the third week you have give your relationship a chance work on your relationship you need that sparkle every single moment in your relationship and sometimes we have, we all have our ups and downs but sometimes it might feel stagnant so do something you can be creative you've got the three get back into balance luck is on your side and you've got the nine of diamonds so something is happening here um, and you've got the man in this uh, reading so somebody is um, work orientated um, but be more playful it says so let your inner child shine and I'm reading for you uh, Sagittarius so I think it is more likely to be you luck is on your side I think there will be a promotion though um, again uh, uh, a nine means an ending a new beginning okay and money is coming in most probably a promotion an end to uh, being a uh, um, an apprentice and you're fully fledged now qualified so that could mean promotions new jobs okay absolutely and that could enhance your relationship as well because you you can start celebrating and be more playful because you don't have to be that serious anymore because you are where you want to be forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past your experience more love in your present moments yes if you really if you heal from working and uh, the nervousness of getting things done like being from coming from an apprentice to be qualified yes a lot of heavy load will have fallen off you and make up that's the nicest part in a relationship and forgive and uh, forgiving and learning how to cope with stressful times that is important uh, and then you have the broom you might have had a disagreement but you've got it's short-lived okay um, because you've got number 11 again and angels are here with you they're giving you a doorway to step through and you have the page of wands you are getting news so this could be related to a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo Sagittarius that is bringing you news or it could be related to work Wow and I think work has got something to do with your relationship you are too busy that is what I'm thinking think of why you are in a relationship what do you want you lost your heart to this person if you are hooked up and if you're not hooked up you will be meeting your love and this could be a fire sign Sagittarius or a water sign because we've got the ace of hearts we've got the page of wands and we have the page of hearts so you will might get even might get an offer of love okay and this is number 24 and 24 2 and 6 is 6 so you will be back in balance at the end of April and I hope the lockdown will ha be over so that you can meet uh, and be playful and you don't have to be so serious anymore and you don't have to worry uh, there will be big happy changes Wow and uh, amazing this card from Archangel Metatron that's the golden key opened the door you've got the archway and you've got the number 11 so there are new beginnings this month I think somebody is going to call upon your creativity but know your boundaries don't don't lose your boundaries 
set them daily so you know if you make a list if you make a list and you've done 10 things or you make a list of 20 things and you only get six done do them well and be happy that you were able to do that remain in balance you've got 14 so don't that's a five don't get out of balance accept the help from the divine and the angels <sighs> new beginnings you've got creativity balance balance is of issue here is the warning the angels are with you you've got 11 that's two as well so 2 2 22 is um, 11 and 11 is 22 so play with the figures you and then you've got a six so your messages remain in balance set your boundaries and there will be happy change big happy changes but remember your uh your your life lesson wh where you've come from and where you're going to now take it slowly give your relationship a chance don't forget your family and friends because being alone is not very nice you listen to your in intuitiveness and you might be very sensitive at this moment visual memory you might have a photographic mind your third eye clearing this is visual memory Arch you might have negative thoughts about the past about a quarrel or disagreement or gossip mongers so Archangel Michael delivers powerful healing to remove a negative visual memory from your eyes mind so something negative will be re, uh, removed um, for you so that you can carry on in love and that you can give your relationship a chance and you can learn and forgive don't be so stubborn Sagittarius you are one of the stubborn signs like also Aries they can be stubborn and Libra but that's not a fire sign but those are um, synchronicities with these signs you are strong people remember that but don't don't be stubborn uh, be learn to be flexible uh, also the word uh, not completion uh, com not compassion flexibility compromise that's it that's the word I'm looking for learn to compromise and you'll have a peaceful uh, life you'll have a gentle life you will feel much more in balance so learn to be flexible and compromise know your boundaries I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the life if not I'll hope to see you in the next video remember please share and like this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up take care and god bless